Welcome back, fellow nerds and nerdettes of the internet. I'm SkyFi, and today I'll be playing Dead Island Definitive Edition. Now, this game originally first came out in 2011, which is kind of hard to believe it's been that long because it's been one of my favorite open world zombie games since release. Back whenever I, oh, let's see, first got it for the PS3. So, this game is a big deal for me. I love this game. Um, I've played it more times than I can count. I've sung countless hours just in this game between PS3, Xbox 360, and now Xbox One. I've played this game on just about every console it's come out on. But today, I'm going to be starting a new character. My main goal at some point over the course of time is to have max level characters all around the board. So I want like all four characters to be maxed out like max level at some point. So we're gonna go with a new game. Logan was the first character that I ever chose. So yeah, more than likely he's gonna be who I choose. Cause you know, I have, I've played Perna, she's okay. I mean, honestly, there's not enough you don't come across firearms too much in this game until you get later on into the game. So like, and by the time you hit the city and from the city on is when you start getting weapons and shit. But like, honestly, there's, I just don't find enough ammo. You never find enough ammo in the game to be ordered, you know, to keep up on being a firearms expert. So I don't really recommend her personally. If this is your ever, if this is your first time ever playing this game, if you guys have ever played this game or if you've never played it, Personally, my highly recommendations for a starter character, a starter class in this game would either be Sam B or Shen Mei because one, she's a sharp weapon expert. She's personally my favorite character in this game just because of the fact, one, she uses swords. Anything sharp bladed, you know, she can fuck some shit up with. So Shen Mei is a really good choice. And then you got Sam B. I mean, he's a blunt weapon expert, so there's a lot of blunt weapons in this game. And, you know, like with Shin Mei, there's a lot of sharp weapons in this game. So you can't go wrong with these two characters. Yeah, then you got this guy, but he he's, he's a bad guy, and it's a fucking single-player campaign only. So I don't care much for Ryder, but, yeah, we're going to go with Logan here. I, I, he never really appealed to me much because he was a throwing he's a throwing weapon expert so you you know what i don't like about it is is you know you can throw your weapon in this game and you have uh you know a little bit of a chance to lose your weapon and it's just not cool at times whenever you got a legendary weapon and you fucking throw it and you lose it so it's not fun you have already completed the prologue chapter do you want to play it again uh, you know what? For the sake of the channel, why not? Let's let's just start fresh and just go from there. Oh shit! Oh my head! Oh, I had too many fucking beers last night. I can't remember. Is there actually even anything in here for me to loot? Oh, a med kit. Boy, howdy. Um. Fun fact for everybody out there, when this game first released, if you guys go back and watch the original Dead Island trailer for, <laughs> that was released like nine years ago or however long it's been, this couple was actually like in the trailer for the Dead Island trailer, you know. You know this, this, was, this was a thing, this happened. These people were from the trailer and here they are dead. Rip. Rest in peace. Uh, there's not shit in here. Oh, money. I'm going to show you guys some shit that I've learned in this game over the years from playing it over and over and over. Things too that carry that have carried over, you know, from the original version to the updated remastered version. I'll show you guys some glitches and um, bugs in the game, duplication. Like I, I show you, I'm gonna teach you guys everything that I know. 113 doll hairs. Ooh. 
Oh yeah. I, it 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 still holds up. But you know, for how old this game is, it still holds up in today's day. I fucking love this game. Skydiving. Hmm, something Send good. Me a postcard. Uh, something good in here? I don't know, bro. Is there? Look at all this stuff. Gimme. Oh, hello. Seven dollars. Seven dollars, that's all you get. Yeah, seriously, that's all that these people had in their fucking suitcase? Yeah, this suitcase only had nine dollars in it, you know? That's all they packed with them on vacation. But no way. Open the elevator hatch. So I'm gonna try and do every mission and everything for you guys in this playthrough. So even though I've seen all of these cutscenes, you know, I've played this game a million times, I'm gonna go through the go through the steps and everything for everybody. So it's like I'm playing it for the first time again, except I know where everything's at. And I know what to expect, so. Ooh! Yeah, that's, that's the thing about games like this, you know, if the replay value, if the game is good, the replay value on it is, you know, but it doesn't matter. Good. I'll introduce myself later. Right now, we got to kick the hell out of there. Wow. Wow. Zombies, bro. They sound angry. Somebody spilled their strawberry jello everywhere. Who's responsible for this mess? I am not part of the maintenance crew. I'm not cleaning this. I'm here on vacation. Or what was supposed to be vacation. Look at that. See somebody slapping, sla slapping their strawberry jam all over the door. Somebody got messy with the peanut butter sandwich. Can't hurt PB and J. I can't hurt to look, can it? Because you're gonna need every dime possible. Ooh! Money. Look at this, there's just a pool of strawberry jam over here. They had like somebody's getting real creative with the with the strawberry jam. It's the Quick run, it's the infected! Ah! I'm Whoa. Lady, you might want to check your underwear. It looks like it's riding up your butt cheeks. My question is, why did the zombie fucking punch me and not eat me? You know. It's my boy Cinnamoy. <laughs> that rhymed. Well, that was the shortest. I always thought that was the shortest prologue ever. I guess if you take your sweet time trying to loot and stuff, you know. You heard what he said. Yes. Let him in here. He just I'm wants to give y'all a great no. big hug. Didn't oh, I tell you? The stop. Wait. Hey. It moved. I'm alive. Do you understand? I'm alive! Don't hit! Not head. Yes! Not the bloody head! I'm trying- I'm nodding my head! I I'm trying to nod my head! Oh, thank ah. God. Nod! I'm a doctor, not a bloody execution. I'm alive. <laughs> well, I'm alive, not a zombie. So don't have to- don't- don't worry. It's all good, bro. I forgive you, even though you tried to kill me. So, yes. Excuse me. I, I don't know why that stuff still, like, shows up for me to pick up. Maybe it's because I'm on a new character and I don't have them all on this character. Hello, yes, I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying, lady. Keep, keep, your, 
keep keep calm before your tatas jump out of that little skin tight fucking tiger bathing suit you got going on there. All right, I'm going. I'm trying. Please. All right. You're going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help. Yes. Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon. You need. To I got find my a bare fist, bro. Help him. That's all I need. I've got my fist, brother, and this right. paddle. This is fucking crazy. Easy. On, on three. three. One. One. Two, Two fucking pocket three. three. You still counted the three, so I don't know why you said fuck it three. So like, I don't, I don't know. Ooh. I'm alive. I like how that fall just killed that I lied. It was good. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump kick, slide. Why? <laughs> How do you like the taste of my tennis shoes? Yeah! <laughs> You've been a bad boy. You get the paddle! Spank! Break them legs. What's going on, Cinnamoy? Looking like uh, Mike Tyson with that face tattoo, bro. Literally. Are you Mike Tyson's brother? That's the last one. Damn. Okay then. Thanks, mates. Got it. Throwing knife. Wow! Act one. <laughs> mayday, mayday. We're going down. We're trapped in a, a trap house right now. We just got jumped by like five zombies outside. <laughs> Over. I'm gonna need some backup. We were just attacked. Listen, Roger. We were just attacked. Awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out and take the rubber duck. This You're is Roger Rover. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange you don't know shit. By You're lying. But first, you need to get here to me. I'm not gonna say anything, but for I those many of you who played this game, y'all already know what's up right with now. Fear. Tell me where you are. Crazy yeah. with fear. They you ate your me? eyeballs Hello? and stabbed forks Hello? in your knees. Hello? God damn it! God damn it! Somebody answer the phone. Here. You beat up pretty bad. Not bad. I didn't see you. Woo! Level up. I think I'm gonna go with his fury first. When the rage meter is full, hold the B button to activate your fucking fury. Go with you for a while. Now, I do believe since I started a new character, I'm going to have to, like, recollect every blueprint this is and every fact uh, Why the hell did I that stay I had on my other characters. Boy. I don't think it I transfers over. I and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you, Steven. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Absolutely. I'll because I need all the XP ah, possible. Thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, where the hell else am I going to go? I don't know. Maybe you could come with me and we could go beat the zombie hordes together. Instead, you just want to sit in here. I don't, well, I don't know what to do. I don't really know where to go. It's like, I don't know, man. I just, gra I just got thrown in the middle of this shit. There's at least ten people in here. And... I'm the only one that y'all are just throwing out here to the wolves. It's like, man, you see that guy over there who just got bit no by a zombie? We almost swacked over the fucking head. Let's send him out there. All right, y'all stay comfy in your little fucking bungalow. Let me go out here with the paddle and show you how it's done. Goodness. All right, so I'm going to collect some shit off the beach here, and then I'm going to go not in the direction where I should go. So I need to go that way, but I'm going to go this way. Um, so the way that I'm going right now, uh, so whenever you first exit that um, the bungalow over there, if you take the route that I took, come this way, and continue going down this way, I'm going to show you guys where you can get one of the few crystal skulls in this game in order to get access to developer blueprints. So you'll take these skulls, and you have to put them in certain places so they're color coordinated like this one I'm going after currently is the green skull 
So after I get this skull, I won't be able to place it until I progress further on in the game, but we'll get to that point later. Yeah, and then you'll see this. Holy shit. Make sure you don't fall. But you'll see this box right here. Go open it up, whatever the hell it is. So one thing that does bother me from the original Dead Island to the definitive edition, these skulls were actually colored in the original Dead Island. So this right here, it just says green skull. There is no color coordinate, you know, it's not green, clearly. Y'all can see that it's just a regular skull. In the original Dead Island, they were actually crystallized and they were actually colored. In early game in Dead Island, you're gonna have a lot of energy drinks and snack bars and shit that you'll find around the game and shit. You cannot pick them up and expect to keep them in your inventory it is a consumable so therefore as soon as you pick up said item you eat it and you know the main purpose of food and energy drinks and shit like that is to uh <laughs> god i almost forgot how fun logan is with his throwing abilities but um the main part of food and drink in this game is to just get your health up so if you're at low health and you don't have access to med kits like I do now because I'm an, you know, I'm a early character. Low level character. <laughs> Boom! Fucking do it again. <laughs> Delivery! Pipe inbound. But if you're, you know, low character like me, you're only going to have access to the food stock that you see around the world. So if your health is low, be sure to just drink it. You know, you don't have to pick it up every time. Sometimes I do just for the fuck of it. You know, why not? You hadn't come along. You You're welcome. I'm gathering any supplies. I'm gathering I can any find supplies I can find at the kiosk. water sports rental Maybe kiosk. You'll find Maybe you'll find handy. something that'll come in handy. Actually, I won't. There is absolutely nothing in this place that's worth a damn, except for the, except for the workbench that's that's in there. Hello. There's a table in sight. You can use. Oh, that's right. I'm not a level three, so I can't equip that. Excuse me. Let's see. To repair your weapons. Yes, yes, yes. Look, take whatever you want. Drinky drink. Can't hurt to look. Let's see what we got in here. Fact right here on the table for everybody. Fact number two. Um, I have to get some rest. There's always water in here. There's always water here, here. You know, everything pretty much spawns in the same spot. There's always a knife hanging here, anytime. Always so just in case you guys are my wife. make you guys aware, there's always a workbench in here. There's always going to be duct tape sitting right here. There's always going to be duct tape sitting here. Wire, wire sitting right here, and then there's you know. Lo uh, lockers. The insulin is in the bathroom. And you got some guy dying because he doesn't I have insulin. Quit. Poor guy. Brother. And I'm not going to worry about fixing anything as of right now because I don't have any good weapons. Actually, no, I might just fix this just, just because. Yeah, whatever. I can show you guys a glitch later to get yourself a decent amount of money. Now, I will say, use glitches and duplicate, you know, anything that I show you guys on my channel, use it at your own discretion. I'm not telling you that you have to use these glitches. It's completely up to you. Nope. Get out of here. Take my knife back, though. Thank you, thank you. Get out of here. This is my beach spot, lady. I am trying to tan here. Do you not see? This is my umbrella. This is my beach. Stepping on the 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 beach. Oh, look at the sandcastle. <laughs> Sadly, I can't be that bully and knock it over. But, you know. Hiya! Yeah, collect any water you find in the game. Um, there will be an NPC that you can talk to who gives a repeated quest where she constantly is asking for bottled water. So there is that. Personal ID right here on the table. Hello? Is collectible. Can hear me? I'm trapped in a 
their booth by the beach. I'm surrounded by the infected and they're clawing to get in. I need help. If someone can hear me, hurry. I'm help. I can hear you. I may be able to hurry. But no promises because uh, I tend to get very sidetracked with quests and killing shit. By the way, let me know in the comments. Does this not look like a fucking chest for Minecraft? I think so. Chess! Minecraft! That's what they look like, I swear. Woo! Gonna get my peer on. What's up? Ah! Hiya! Yeah, right in the deke. Or maybe the ad abdomen. Oops. I, I want to show you guys a glitch, okay? Now that... I actually have time to be able to do so. All right, so, all right, stand by. Waiting, waiting. Hold, hold. Christ this is for you. Woo. Delivery. Okay, so, if you want to have an infinite storage, without having to invest points into your um, inventory slots over here. If you don't want to waste skills and points on that, this is what you do. Make sure your fists are equipped. Step number one. Step number two. Make sure that your inventory is completely maxed out. So 12 out of 12. Step number three. Make sure you have alcohol in your inventory. All right? Now, step number four. All you do, take said alcohol. Hit the A button on Xbox or the X button on PlayStation and equip it in your circles okay equip it in one of the in one of your weapon wheel circles all right i'm gonna just put it right here equipped it all right now i'm gonna go back to my inventory look up there in the top left part where it says inventory it now says that i am one over my inventory so now i have 13 i have 13 items okay for some reason, the glitch has to deal with alcohol. I will make it. Uh, I will show you guys an example. Come on, buddy! Come on! Come on, buddy! Come on, run to me! Run! Run! Boom! Oh shit! I didn't mean to drink the alcohol. I did not mean to drink the alcohol. <laughs> You can, you know, you can, you could do it at uh, any time. Puppy up. So now, look, I just picked up another item. Now I'm 14. You know, I'm only allowed to be carrying 12 items right now. But because of what I did, I am over the limit. So I can just, I could hold up to 100 items right now in my inventory if I actually had 100 items. But if you guys, you guys see what I mean. So, bam. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Some good combat tips, too, whenever you're fighting, you know, multiple zombies. It's good to side jump. So just continuously circle them while you're trying to kill them. Makes dodging and avoiding them a lot easier to do, so. Get out of here. Punch. Yeah. Okay. What up, boy? It's so you here for my alcohol? Where the hell am I? Oh yeah, it's coming back to me now. I yeah, you're was chased in here by a mob of bloody. Been where you are, man. I'm. I was able to quite lock the, them out, but I had to kill the, the bloody bartender. The crazy. And when I say that, I don't mean in real me. life. I Didn't actually really eat, hate alcohol in real life. To drink. Um, but now I will casually drink, but need a bit of I'm not too keen on alcohol. But my character, Think Logan here, he, uh, he, he's quite the alcoholic. I, I understand the gist of what you're asking me. You've run out of booze, you need more booze, you woke I'll up. I'll do what I can. Good. More booze. I'll wait here. The thing mind. is, though, bro, is this this guy right here oh, just asks to get for, like, even. you do, like, I'm three, three missions right. for him. He wants you to find five bottles of alcohol for him three times. So, what bloody good. watch. I'll wait here. Give him... Mind. Five alcohol. I'm not really up to moving around. Okay. And he still wants more. So that means he just drank 
Five bottles of alcohol and it's still not good enough. The, the dude wants more. So I, I don't know how the hell his liver can handle it, to be completely fucking honest with you. That is a side quest that we will come back to. Because I'm trying to keep a hold of any and all alcohol I come across. So he can hold his damn horses. I already gave him five bottles of alcohol. He can, he can wait. Sweet. I leveled up again. So... Chance to retrieve thrown weapons. I'm gonna go with boomerang. Because Somebody's we are a throwing a weapon expert. Day. Oh, I'd say. Oh, God. Oh, God. See, every time I saw this here, I wondered if this guy actually had to kill every, you know, body that's here in this pool right now. If so, okay. damn, son. <laughs> or I think it just might have been this guy right here. My wife, my, my dad. Oh fuck, my own fucking brother. Jesus Christ. Yeah, poor guy. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm looking at you like that because you got, oh bro. You went mad oh on a PB and J sandwich because you got some mad jelly all up on you. <gasps> dead body. Is not dead. Dead body is not dead. It's all right. I forgive you. This is recording Roger right here, Howard, by the way, for on a collectibles. Assignment on the island of this table. I'm investigating Go ahead and break down this door. First try. No. Nope. Second try. Here, but here we costing go. The people of ben -E I've been told Zombie in the bathroom. Smack. <laughs> Kick. Nothing. I don't know what size there. sneaker I wear, but damn, that couldn't As have been a comfortable. I will be leaving a trail of recordings wherever I go, so that if something were to happen to me, a the bottle of alcohol. Thank you. Told. I'm leaving now to meet with an informant who I believe. Uh, let me open this puppy up. Off of this investigation. There is actually an achievement called "Can't Touch This" that requires you to get. I think it's like five or ten zombie kills in a row with a hammer without them touching you. The easiest way to complete that achievement, people, is to jump on top of a high... Like, there's something high out of reach that zombies can't get you on. Just jump to a high location and just lure the zombies to you and just smack them with the hammer to get that achievement. It's pretty easy. I still have like six or seven achievements I need for the game before I like platinum it. Get 100% okay. complete. Lock picking in this game is kind of not really like a big deal. It kind of seems like it, but it's not. You just don't run into lock picked um, boxes as much as you think that you would. Um. Honestly, you have more of a chance of finding a legendary weapon, an orange weapon, I should say, personal ID right here, in a regular silver chest. So just kick all these zombies down and just smack them while they're down. Ah, get out of here. You'll never take me. You'll never take me. Yeah. Get out of here. You'll never take me. Get out of here. Woo! Fuck. Fuck. Get out of here. Huh. Hiya. Get down. Get down. No. Ring around the zombie. Ring around the zombie. Take out the kneecaps and fall down. Rip <laughs> F in the chat for the zombie. Rip his knees. Oh yeah, man. Look at this. Just Ah yes, this is this is actually a beautiful sight to be honest. Like even on PS3, this looks beautiful. All right, battery. What do we got, Mr. Trash Can? Uh, nothing. Garbage. Literally garbage. All right, so we're gonna go down here to Mr. Cinnamoy or. What's his first name? Is that his first name? Cinnamoy Tyson. I'm going to start calling him Tyson. You, you did it? All right. Yeah, we did. If those things catch wind Give me that us nailed again, mod. You won't stand a chance here. All right. 
So we went ahead and turned that in. You're not safe here, mate. You're not safe here. You're right. You're not. You care to grab a weapon and help me there, guy? If those things I didn't catch think so. Again, you won't have, ha here. have an ex-football star who's an alcoholic do all the legwork for you. See how that works out, huh? So thank you for being here today to enjoy yet another daring adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to catch more upcoming content with me. So until next time, nerds, stay weird.